What up everybody? Let's zone in on the Rambler. We're doing a Rambler cook today. It's coming up the temp right now. Let me show you what's going on though. Doing, which I don't do very often at all, is bone-in pork short ribs. So I ordered these up, got them. I could feel, I think there's two bones in this entire package on each side, so four ribs possibly. Um, I won't know for sure until I cut it open, but uh, 2.71 pounds for just a few short ribs. So we're gonna season these up with this pork rub from uh, Snake River Farms. Man, I did pay for this, this is not a sponsor. This is the hands down, the best pork rib rub. Just pork rub in general that I've got my hands on, that I've used, been smoking for freaking over two decades and I swear by this stuff, this is my go-to when I'm doing my own personal cooking. Anyways, I'm gonna season these things up heavily with the said rub. I got my non-alcoholic beer there for all uh, my alcoholic and non-alcoholic friends. For best of letter words, I didn't mean to say alcoholic. Uh, you know what I guys, you know what I mean though. Anyways, that's coming up. I'm gonna season this up and we'll be back. All right, let me show you the setup before I put it on. There's the ribs, heavily uh, coated up with the uh, pork rub right there. That's what it looks like, already smells good. That rub, man, I highly recommend getting it before I get it on Amazon and stuff. Um, anyways, let me show you the, the uh, Joe, blah. You know what I'm talking about. Let me show you, blah. Let me show you Oklahoma Joe setup. All right, I'm gonna make this quick. But there, got the sun, apologies about that. Just my charcoal basket. Got some hot ones going on the right side and some unlits on the left. Indirect, so I have one grate on and keep the other grate off so I ease of access to the charcoal basket. And I'm using Blue Hogs premium lump charcoal. That's what we're cooking with today. Then I'm gonna slap in some uh, just some apple chunks that I have to pair with the pork. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Let's get the meat on. All right, here we go. You know, new metal one. Get under there. Whoops, there we go. Number two. All right, I'm going to close this lid up so that uh, snuffs out. Get some nice thin blue going. And we'll be back. Got my uh, grill grate probe there, so I'm going to monitor the temps. Going to try to keep this at about 275 to 300. So that's my go-to range for whenever I smoke, because I don't have the time to do the low and slow, and I get the exact same results. All right, guys, I just probed it. We're done. It's going in like butter. <clears throat> Hit uh, not quite 203 where I was probing, um, but I'm going to pull it, because like I said, it's tender, very tender. That's what the charcoal basket looks like. Held out great. I was loading it here and there as needed, just adding a handful. But I'm going to go ahead and take these guys off now. Let them rest. Oh, man, that's good. Let me get my little probe out of there. So juicy. Check that out. Hear that? All right. There's one. Come back for the other. The coloring. These things have amazing bark. Look at that. That's a lot of meat, man, for four ribs. Four, for four short ribs. That's crazy. Okay, let's do this. Not sure if I gave it enough time or not. Check out that coloring, though. Bottom side, I did not take off the membrane because I was feeling kind of lazy today and just didn't do it. So, not the end of the world. Let's cut into these. Let's see how they came out. What? Four bones. thought there was only... Two. Oh, that's so tender. Holy Toledo's. Excuse me. Excuse me for the shake there. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, that's hot. Very hot. Let's get in for a look. That looks nice and juicy. It's got very good coloring. Not as much of a smoke ring at all those wood chips just didn't cut it you got some though there if you look at that get in there there's a little bit it's dripping it's dripping fat that's the nature of the kurabuta all right i'm just gonna tear off a nugget this is piping hot Woo! here we go good bite try to get that in for you yep here we go 
Mm. Wow, that's great. A little bit of heat to that uh, Snake River Farm pork rub. Ooh, not too bad though. Feels like there's a little sweet in there, but it has a little kick. Mmm, mm mm mm. Oh. I'm gonna tear into these things so hard. All right, well, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what you want to see next on the Rambler or any other my other dozen grills or so. And uh, we'll make it happen. All right, laters.